previous video posted on the Sasquatch archives, Renee DeHinden discussed and commented on some casts made by Paul Freeman. That video was from the year 1989. Some nine years later, DeHinden questioned Dr. Grover Krantz about the authenticity of the Freeman cast. In 1998, Stephen Harvey organized the Sasquatch Forum, which was held at the University of British Columbia. The forum included many speakers and attendees, including Rene DeHinden and Dr. Grover Krantz. You are about to see footage from the forum showing DeHinden and Krantz discussing the Freeman cast. Until now, this footage has never been made public. Many thanks go out to researcher Larry Lund for archiving and making this footage available. Appreciation is extended as well to Gene Robinson for acting on Larry's behalf to forward the material. Dr. Jeff Meldum disagrees with DeHinden's points about the Freeman cast. See the pop-up link to watch a video with his replies to DeHinden's comments. As well, Dr. Meldum has posted some discussion of pertinent points in the paper titled Sasquatch and Other Wild Men, The Search for Relic Hominoids. Please show your support for unique content of this nature by subscribing and commenting. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy this extremely rare footage of Rene DeHinden discussing some footprint cast made by Paul Freeman. Um, you know, there's, there's so much controversy about the subject, you know, is there Bigfoot or is there not? We've seen a lot of controversy within the subject, uh, as far, especially in a certain area, and that's the Walla Walla area with uh, a lot of the footprints, sightings, videos. Um, in, the, in 1989, uh, we were at the ISC's conference, and afterwards we came up here to BC to uh, Renee Hendon's. Uh, Renee did some investigation down in the, in the uh, Walla Walla area uh, and was there when these footprint casts were recorded and cast. And uh, Renee's going to explain a little bit about the cast. But we wanted to show this because uh, some of the scientists think that these are real. And I don't agree. And I wanted to get uh, Dr. Francis here, I wanted to get his explanation of these tracks, if you can. I don't, he has not seen this, uh, but he does have these casts. So go ahead and run it. Okay, can we get the lights, please? We have to turn the sound down because of the foul language. <laughs> <laughs> this footprints were found November the 3rd, 1987 in Walla Walla up on the Tiger Creek Canyon Road. And there were five tracks there. We didn't, we didn't make that for production, we just fooled around there. And uh, Paul Freeman found these tracks and they are blatant, stupid fakes. Um, that's number five here, going down the back. The track is nine inches wide, turns into four here. We should have started, if we were thought it's going to be shown you, we would have done this different. Um, they were 80 to 100 inches apart, which of course is plain stupid, you know. Um, every time you, um, you know, the more footprints are apart, the more it shows in the track. That's how far they are apart. The back ones too, they're, they're way further, uh, like I say, 80 to 100 inches. Are we uh, getting told to the real one which shows how they are fixed? Yeah. Um, I didn't see that tape for ages. But you see, nothing, unless they are running or jumping, Fast forward it, John. Okay. Okay, this is the right foot. Okay? You see this with the big toys and with the little toys that curved there? Nearly halfway back to the foot. Um, that's like I say, it's the right foot here, 14 inches long by about 9 inches wide. The little toy is way back. Um, 
that high amount there, that's really where it, where the foot then uh, ends. That the rest of them is kind of a slight and then. So you know, you take one cast. This one is. That's the left here. Now we get to the right. Again. Uh, Yeah, this is the same foot. The same foot. See how the, the little toes? That's not the same. That was the same foot in the it cast. Yeah. yeah, it's the same foot. There's, they're marked in the back what they are. Oh, okay. Totally different foot. The toes, the little toe is way up forward. You know? The same foot. I mean, total, utterly ridiculous stuff which was produced in Walla Walla. And this here is really, um, there are other tracks further up, you couldn't tell if they are left or right, or left or right tracks. Um, I forgot. You have to see the cats that really appreciate how uh, ridiculous they were. Then there's a rock in there by the toes. Um, Pause it or shut oh it Oh yeah, that's another one here. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah. That one is from the top row there. Hard to tell if it is a left or right. A little that thing sticking out the back there is just an overflow on the thing there. Okay. Yeah. That's it? What? Oh, I was gonna have him stop. You just want to pause? It? <coughs> yeah, or we can pause it. Did you recognize some of those casts? <coughs> the very last one that was shown looked disturbingly similar to the very first one that was being discussed there. That is, it was a nice little bit where you got pinky sticking out to the side, but they were never placed side by side, so I don't know. But I would say one thing. If uh, Paul Freeman said this is the way they were laid out, and this is the right, and this is the left, I wouldn't want to leave them where I'm doing it. I, I, I took a lot, I didn't have a video camera at the time. I took a lot of clear, sharp photos and slides showing the track ways, the individual track, both sides and toes. And there are pictures of Paul Freeman and me there, Paul Freeman and his son making the casts. These, the, these are the tracks in the ground. Yeah, of the film site of November the 3rd, 1987. They were found, the tracks, casts were made the next day. Yeah. Um, what kind of ground was it? Was it easy to work? I, I didn't even leave a mark there, unless I check on my foot around. I was of course sort of kind of rocking and so on. Uh, the number five track which then slid down the bank with the four toes. Freeman did that on the first time when he claims he saw one. And that's why Joel Hall took one look at the photos of this track and he said, what the heck? And that's why he went up there already suspicious because if, if a track is nine inches wide and you put your break weight down and slide down a, a slope, it flattens out rather than gets to be four inches wide. It's all ridiculous stuff there. Uh, that's typical Fleeman stuff. Uh, he also put some rocks in which I have slides of off the tracks in the ground, off the toes, and I put pictures of the whole track and then specifically on the toes because I realized that's where the key was. Uh, I didn't say a word to Freeman, you know, I just didn't know the so pictures of him and me there, and him and his son there making this task. He made the task. But well, looking, looking at, looking at what we just saw, how could that be? That, that was my question. How could those same right foot look so different? Well, I wouldn't believe that it's the same right foot. Some of these uh, 
But if it, and if it was the same right foot in that line of tracks, you'd have to classify those as frauds. There was some kind of fraud going on in there somehow, I would think. Yeah. You or your students make a blast of Paris cast. Because it says on the side, copyright, or C, I have my own. Kranz Freeman. Mm -hmm. And you brought it back to Walla Walla, according to Freeman and gave it to Freeman. Yeah. You know, it's just, and uh, Meldrum took this crummy cast where the toes are way back. He holds it up and says it's real. Uh, what's his name? Uh, saw it as a real scientific paper. He said, did you see this here? You know? And it seems to me that I just... My view, and Dave blames me on everybody in this research, us guys, our view is very simple, this. I did all the bluff creek tracks of it, because they all have the ground gripping toes and all this, the same configuration. Or the Walla Walla tracks of it, and the bluff creek tracks of it. Or they are both of my friends, but they can't be both real. Tabling from Yale University, he took a look at this tracks, he told Meldrum in Columbus, Ohio, he said, look, I did this set of tracks from Bluff Creek, hundreds of them are real, or this one's are real, but they can't be both real. Well, then the only problem that puzzles me is if uh, Freeman plays them, I'd like to know how he did it. With his hand! If you look at my color slide or photo, you can clearly see where he put his fingers in there, and he had big hand. Or I call them the Bavarian sausage tracks. Maybe you use them. Frozen Bavarian sausages to make the toast. They were made, but Freeman made them by hand. Most of them. You look at them, clear shot photo, examine them. One of the points here, uh, while we talked about earlier, uh, when Grover was up here about the Indiana cast, it was being one cast, and it seems like some of them we will send them a cast or they'll attain one cast without knowing what's before and after. And that was a good example, you know. That's why we want to see all of the footprints, where they're laid out. Um. You see, like in a crime investigation, that's the problem. Now, I, because I tell people, I don't know how scientific community works. But in a police department or in the real world, you can't go and take a shell casing over here and a blood spot over there and make a case. Everything has to be documented. If there's more shell casings, you get them all. In this case, both you and Melville, you take one cast and run off with it. What about the, the other five, six casts? Well, the trouble you have to have them all there. The trouble with me and Melville is we weren't there to take the first cast. No, but you got the cast. And we, we had no ability to gather any further data. Now, uh, by contrast, I might mention that um, Kaufman, uh, or Jean Kaufman in Caucasus, did what you would be very pleased with. Uh, I think you've probably seen it. She photographed the tracks that she studied with a photograph of each track showing the next track overlap, but at least within the same frame, so that you can line up the photographs. And there's no question about the sequence. Now that I would like to see somebody do here that nobody's ever done. I bet. Where? Which side? Walla Walla, and this set of tracks here. Lost, uh, Blue Creek Mountain tracks, I didn't do that good of a job there. But I did it in Walla Walla, because when Freeman came and said, I found that, I thought, ah, oh, gee, I have such a good time wandering around, sitting in the sun, smoking my pipe, and here's this guy coming, telling me found traps. So I went up there, my bells were ringing, alarm clocks going off, and I really took a clear shot to look at that stuff and photographed every one of the tracks over and over, measured them, 
looked at the ground, photos here, photos there, photos over here, all over the place. Then you should share that information with the rest of us. You know, talking to you and Meltem would be just like debating birth control with the Pope. Yeah. <laughs> we know his view. I don't pound my head against the cement, cement wall anymore. So I don't have to share anything. Look at the casts. Lay them out. Meltem holds up that stupid cast here. He has them in his scientific paper. If Meltem would take that cast like I did, or a photo, take a photo of it, and launch it, take his ruler, measure here, 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 a percentage wise that thing out, he would realize that this foot is totally non functional. Total, absolutely non functional. We did. We told Meldrum. You told him, but uh, did you convince anybody? I did. As I said, I wouldn't argue with the Pope about birth control. It would be useless. I don't argue with these people anymore. Right? Doug did. Just how long ago? Months ago? He was in Ohio there talking to him. Hell, I would be better off talking to my dead dog. I have the same problem with the rest of the scientific community. Well, uh, we're talking about this footprints from Walla Walla, which goes on since June, what, the 10th of 1982. I mean, we, we could sit here and do a whole weekend just, just on the wall. wall and we wouldn't get not. any place. Right. I, yeah. You, you know, I've seen information that I, don't, I haven't seen. You've got photographs that I haven't seen, so I can't disagree or agree. You have the cast. Lay them out, look at them. You don't need my photos, you have the cast. But I don't know the order in which you put them. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, then. And as far as I know, they came from different sites. I don't know where they came. Yes. All right. Most of all, just one comment. One should not authenticate something without the facts. With that what? Without the facts. Don't authenticate something without going through the procedure that you have just talked yeah, about. Yeah, I agree. That's why I don't make cast number one time. Not very good at it, and number two, I find photos of footprints in the ground, to me, personally, are more important than that casts. I don't know, I, I like camera work, and I, I see more with the tracks in the ground and the surrounding areas and so on. Uh, or do both, you know. All right, well, if there's no more questions, I'll you turn back over to Stephen. <clears throat> what about it, everybody? Enjoy the day. Thank you. Um, this concludes the forum, the Sasquatch Forum. Sasquatch Forum, the straight ahead approach to Sasquatch Bigfoot, which we bring from Harrison Hot Springs. This is our seventh year of doing the forum. Tonight, we go back to the paranormal with a discussion on what about the UFO Bigfoot connection. Seven o'clock panel know, discussion. Sure. And then on uh, Monday, we have a, a small cryptozoology meeting uh, in the boardroom here with the public. And uh, on Tuesday, media mythology, what that is, is uh, we have a couple of uh, bookings at one here at the Vancouver Museum, the one in the Museum of Anthropology to look at their collections and then we'll uh, go to various galleries in town during the day and in the evening we'll look at Bigfoot films. Uh, Monday 10 o'clock here and Tuesday also 10 o'clock we start out at the Vancouver Museum so Tuesday field trip starting out from the Vancouver Museum 10 o'clock. Um, and for those of you who will leave us now, and there are those who, uh, who will, thank you so much for being here. It's been my pleasure and privilege to once again present such a 
class act, I must say. Give yourself some more applause. <laughs> that was for you. Yeah. And also, Paula, he was reminding me, uh, this year you have a chance to uh, say your piece on those feedback forms, positive, negative, uh, let's hear you. And so we can uh, continue to fine tune this uh, symposium. So now, summer break. Thanks. Yay, to me. <laughs>